Hi, Liz. Yes. between your chest when you're going down or he will throw his shit in with the arm lock. He grabs it, he pulls. Boom. Follow. Straight to side. All right? Osoto off of the standard load. I'm pulling him in. Come in when I pull you. Here. And then throw. You throw. Here. Boom. Okay. So... Look, if they're pulling you in, let them pull you into a soda. That's kind of the idea, right? So if I'm pulling Sharpie and just hooked away, he's already there. I literally made it easier for him, okay? But the, whether we want to do Marote grip, which is just two hands, but we're going to do the shoulder throw, right? Both are considered hand techniques if you can look at the judo perspective. But we also do all the similar components of a hip throw. So sometimes people call this a hip throw, but it's categorized hand throw. Okay? You do this when people push you, right? So if he was doing that, we're like, come down the line to a soda me, right? That's when we want to time it. When people are pushing and, and being aggressive, coming forward down that line. Oh, soda is the time they might do that. Okay? But any time that he comes forward to kind of close, I want to look over my shoulder, pull up at the end of the throw, and get the side mount I want. Okay? So, when he closes in, look. Right? The mistake people make is they'll stay here, and he'll start seat belting and stuff. Right? So, so I'll have that down real quick. Back on the so, as soon as you land here, pull up and come back down into the side control. Let's look at that again. So, he's coming in. Look, when he's doing that, you got to pull. You got to pull at the end of that throw so they come up. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. 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 All right, so guys, side control. There's a certain point where you have to think about basic goals of the position, and then if you check those off, that can lead to the submission, right? We've been emphasizing that, like control, distribution of weight, good connection, being able to move, being able to move this like a plus sign, right? You know, north and south, east and west, being able to twist and turn with them, being able to tilt side to side with our hips and our shoulders, okay? So, you know, that's a lot to be able to maintain, but we're just gonna work on some simple sort of control drills, right? So where you're gonna maintain, just staying on them with side control, we're just gonna do kind of one hand at a time, okay? Watch what happens if I'm if I'm on Sharpie here, he just starts getting his guard back. See how his head went away? Okay, do that again. Watch his head. There. Okay. Now, go again, Sharp. Okay. So what I did is as he went to move. I took this elbow and I went, as he went to move. I'm not doing it all the time. If you do it all the time, then he'll find the weakness in that. I'm using it inter like incrementally, intermittently, right? So he goes, in, so goes to move, I keep his head from moving out. That is the counter for when he tries to bring his knee inside 
and get his head out and start recovering his guard, okay? So just drill this back and forth with your partner. That's what, one of the ways we use our hands in side control on this far side to stop the guard retention. Make sense? This is one, two. Okay, let's, um, let's work on some different ways to think about the Kimura, okay? There's three ways we could finish the Kimura from side control, and I wanna kinda just go over them, and I want you to get with your partner and, and drill them, okay? One of the first ways I ever saw to set up the Kimura was to like lift your chest up and swim it down like that, right? So like, look here. Like we talked about last week, you know, he's giving me resistance and if I start trying to push it down, I won't be able to. However, if I lift up and push it down, I can. Give me resistance. Boom. Okay, so there's a time when you drop pressure and there's a time when you lift up and, and you might will drop some pressure there also to achieve whatever your result is. If it's isolating this arm, okay? So like lifting up here, Right, I, I'm looking to set up the Kimura that way. Okay, so I need his arm down this direction for a Kimura, right? Another way, if he starts coming up off the underhook, look here. Okay. Now, even if I'm here, watch how I'm gonna coil my hips back this way. Okay, so if I set it up from here, I'm stepping over and I swing, right? Like this way, okay? Or I've got the north-south finish here, right? Or I've got the far side finish. All right, I'm gonna go so you can see the pin. Okay, but it's for more grip, but my, my hips are on his head there, helping me with the pin. Okay, so like, look here sit through, step over, swing, okay? We've been like working motorcycle grips, right? Where you can, you can grip, you got no thumbs, roll it, okay? I can also pull him up on his side, finish this from north-south. If I'm here or north-south, I can just clock over and finish on the far side, okay? So look, far side, middle, near side. What's the entry one more time? <coughs> like that. Look what my hand does. It follows. Like that. Here. Pushing it down. Catching it here. Step over. Okay. Knees. Alright. Or if I'm coming here Walk and hip over there. <laughs> Makes sense. Yes, sir. One, two. Huh? Touching this stuff. Didn't have a partner.